Providence, it's Dane Saratelli. Starting fourth in the number 80 truck from Seekonk. In the Elmwood Dodge Chrysler Jeep and Ram, higher graphics and Fun City Trampoline Park, it's Mike Cavallero. Fifth on the field, driving the Helger South Coast Power Equipment. Bush Light, Women in Racing, Chaz's Auto Body, Donate Life, number nine, out of Swansea, Mass. It is Amy Arsenal. Starting sixth in the number five truck from Westport, Mass. Helger's South Coast Power Equipment, MLB Photography, and Dan's Oil bring us Tom Scully the third. Seventh on the field. Your defending sports truck champion and newest inductee onto the Seekonk Speedway Wall of Fame, the Sylvia Motorsports. Northeast Alternatives, Service Partners, Boston Metro Supply, Brightman Lumber sponsored number 14 out of Westport, Mass. It's Radical, Rick Martin. Starting in the eighth position in the number 29 truck, one of your championship four competitors here tonight from Berkeley, Mass, Everett's Auto Parts, Viking Sheet Metal, Haggerty Construction, Bumper to Bumper Auto Accessories, and Watermark Electric bring us the number 29 of Jake Veneta. Ninth on the field, former sport truck champion out of Dighton, Mass. The Farrier and Sons Heating and Cooling, EJ Auto Services, Rocha Landscaping, Boss Lady Graphics, number 50 out of Dighton, Mass. It is Mike Duart. Starting on the outside of the fifth row in the number one truck, also one of your championship four competitors tonight from Westport, Mass. Elmwood Collision Center on the number one truck for Tim Bolger. 11th on the field, truck number four out of Brockton, Mass. The budget drains. Brian McSherry Foundation bike run number four from Brockton, Mass. It's Daryl Church. Starting 12th in the number 78 truck from Westport, Mass. Response Transit Service, Rose Construction, Driller's Choice, and Hobbies and Things Graphics. It's the number 78 of DJ Tebow. Lucky 13th on the grid out of Rehoboth, Mass. The Seacon Grand Prix sponsored number 52. Behind the wheel of that is Jeff Bellier. On the outside of the seventh row, in the number 42 truck from Milford, Mass, it's Jack Brewer. Truck number 20 rolls off 15th on the field. Out of Swansea, Mass, the East Bay Auto Body, Patriot Subaru, JK Sanitation, Row Marine, number 20, it is Ethan Heilborn. And starting 16th in the number 12 truck, Champion Lawn Care on that one for Elmer Wing. From Elmer, Rehoboth. Elmer making his first start in about 15 years behind the wheel of that truck. Former, former sportsman champion. And, uh, you know, we, when his kids were young, he stopped racing for, you know, it's not a cheap sport. He had uh, gone pro stock racing and coming off his best career finish was a fourth and just decided that he didn't have the funds to do it like he wanted to do it, so he stepped aside. This is the first time his kids have gotten to see him race. His youngest was born at the time, but, you know, at that age, you don't remember. Sometimes at this age, you don't remember. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, Doug Rio, the owner of the truck, he, him and Elmer have been friends for a long time, and he's talking. He said, you know, Elmer, you kids ever see you race? He says, no. Well, they will now and he put him behind the wheel. So what a great uh, gesture to put Elmer in the truck. And uh, I know he was looking forward to it. He was supposed to race last week. Mother, Mother Nature, Nature took care of that. And uh, he is back behind the wheel tonight. So good to see him there. Four drivers vying for the championship. Those are the four drivers to keep your eyes on. The 14 of Rick Martin, the 29 of Jake Veneta, the 50 of Mike Duart, and the one of Tim Bulger Jr. Those are the four drivers to keep your eyes on. 20, 35 laps will be the distance. Here comes Radical Rick. Needed a couple of minutes to get out of the pro stock and get behind the wheel of his sports truck while his team readied that truck for this main event. Yep. Speaking of Rick Martin, he'll be on uh, the radio show this Wednesday night, maybe uh, talking about another championship. We shall see. Out there and lined up, ready to roll here. Right now, Dave Darling has eight championships to his credit rick martin has seven as a driver looking to tie that tonight it'll be nine overall if he does because he does have a car owners championship with freddie estelle behind the wheel field is set 35 laps the distance the chaz's auto body sport truck main event about ready to rock and roll ladies and gentlemen the bristol toyota pace truck gets ready to head pit side Takes a hard left-hand turn down off of turn number two 
and we are ready to go. It is championship time here on Ocean State Oil Night. Lenny Guy, Marissa Morgan, jump up on the throttle. Green flag is out, we're underway. Down into turn number one, Lenny Guy in that number 77 truck. He's gonna lead the way. Marissa Morgan on the outside, down into three and four. Down to the corner they come, Dane Taratelli making some moves already up into the third spot. Taking a look to the inside of Marissa Morgan. Trouble for Lenny Guy, he goes around down on front straightaway. The back end snaps out from underneath them. Everybody on the binders behind. Caution flag is out. That didn't take long, one lap in, wow. And uh, quite a save there for Lenny Guy as well, there was contact uh, Some wrong. heads up driving behind us. Martin, Veneta, Duart, and Bolger. Green flag is out, down into the corner they go, and Marissa Morgan jumps out front. Look at the 80 of Cavalero, trouble for Jack Brewer down in turn number two, and we're right back under yellow. So the caution is out, we have vi no, 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 this one is not good. Caution flag right back out. Jack Br getting closer and closer to that first win as well. Closer and closer and here we go, green flag in the air. Off the corner they come, we're underway, down into one, Morgan setting the pace. Saratelli trying to hold on to the outside as Cavalera works that bottom lane down into three. Here comes Martin right behind him as they come off of four. Off of four and across the stripe. Marissa Morgan in that number 57. She's out front over Mike Cavalero down into one and two. Here comes Rick Martin. He looks for the third position with Saratelli down the back stretch. Martin is on a mission for eight here tonight as they roll down into three and four. Cavalero takes a look to the inside. Marissa Morgan up top. They race down into turn number one. Morgan on the high side, Cavalero down low. They're wheel to wheel at the top of the field as they roll down through three and four. In three and four, up front, Cavalero takes the lead. Rick Martin in third. He is the top competitor right now in the championship four as they go down the back stretch. Here comes Rick Martin for second place down into three and four. Off of four and across the stripe. Rick Martin into second over Marissa Morgan. Cavalero continues to lead out front. Down the back stretch, they start to get single file, positions one through six. Martin settles into the number two spot. Morgan third, Saratelli fourth. Two out rounds out the top five. Six is Amy Arsenault in battle for seventh is three wide momentarily. Bulger had a back off the throttle as he took a look down to the inside of Bellier and Bulge and uh, Veneta. Veneta and Bellier continue to battle up front. Rick Martin, he's reeling in Mike Cavallaro, looking for the lead and looking for his eighth driver championship here tonight. We're seven laps in. Down off the corner they come and Martin settles in right on the back bumper of Mike Cavallaro. Nice and comfortable there. They roll off the second corner. Martin comfortable, but it'd be more comfortable at the top of the field. Takes a look to the outside. Looks for the crossover off of four, but Cavalero holds the bottom. No, he doesn't. Martin down low. Here comes Rick Martin. Cavalero leaves the door open. Radical Rick, he is going to look for the lead. Down the back stretch. He's right at the quarter of Cavalero, making a move into three and four. Cavalero giving him just enough room to hang himself down low and able to hold on at the top of the field. He's going to make Martin work for this one off at turn two. Off of two, down the back stretch. Rick Martin continuing to be all over the back bump of Cavalero into three and four. Cavalero leads coming across the stripe. 11 laps now on the board. Rick Martin continues to look for the lead in one and two. Marissa Morgan still sitting third with Dane Saratelli fourth and Mike Duart fifth. And Martin decides, well, I know you're not going to give me room down low. I don't blame you. I wouldn't do it either. But you're going to give me room on the outside. And Martin puts the 14 at the top of the leaderboard at lap number 12. Rick Martin to the lead. Down the back stretch on the high line there. He's going to go and continue to battle with Cavallaro. Spinning Marissa Morgan in three and four. Caution flag on the Speedway. Caution comes out with 12 laps complete. Morgan has the back end snap out from underneath her. And at lap number 12, Rick Martin had the lead by 29 thousandths of a second. And he will bring the field down for the green flag. Boy, I'll tell you what, Rock. Red, rock, 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 bah, 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 rocks down to the infield. That's a legend term. Off of turn number four. Cavalero on the outside, Martin down low, we're underway, Martin with the jump, sets the pace, down into turn number one, 
Cavalero settles in for second. Duart and Zaratelli battling for third. The chiseled veteran out front looking for his eighth driver's championship tonight. Rick Martin leads into one and two, 13 laps on the board. Mike Cavallaro runs second, and here comes Duart for third. Duart looking for third, and all of a sudden, Tim Bulger works that top side, and he has found some speed, but he's going to need a little bit more of that to find himself to the top of the leaderboard. Down into one and two, and right now that battle continues for third with Duart on the outside of Saratelli down into three, while Martin gets a breakaway off of turn number four. Jake Veneta, he's looking to inch and claw his way up through the field. He battles with Ethan Heilborn right now back there, middle of the pack. Out front, Rick Martin has a clear view in front of him down into one and two. 16 laps on the board as he comes across the stripe. 16 down and 19 to go as they hit turn number three. Saratelli still holding on to third with Duart up top. Bulger sits fifth and watch for him try to sneak a peek down on the inside. They roll off a of four, 17 up on the board. We've hit the halfway. Halfway home, Rick Martin leading Mike Cavallaro and starting to stretch out that lead as they go down into turn three and four. Cavallaro comfortably in that number two spot with Saratelli third, really doing a great job holding off Duart up top and Bulger right behind, Amy Arsenal sits in that sixth position with Veneta's seventh. Eighth is Heilborn. Church is ninth. Wing rounds out the top ten as we are at lap number 19. 19 down. 15 to go. 16 to go here. Rick Martin leading out. Double down a turn one. One truck around. Oh, hard hit. The nine of Arsenal goes around. Elmer Wing with nowhere to go. Makes hard contact there. And we are slowed up. Red flag is out as they will check on Amy Arsenault and Elmer Wing after a hard hit down in turn three and turns one and two. Duart, Jake Venetis at one, two, and three in the NASCAR Northeast Division four point standings. Looking for the green off of turn number four, up on the throttle, Martin and Cavallaro jump back on the throttle. We're back underway, and as they head down into one, Martin picks right up where he left off at the top of the leaderboard. Down the back stretch, Rick Martin, he is your leader. Into three and four, he's got a rear view mirror full of Mike Cavallaro in that 80 truck. Mike Duart battling for third place down into one and two. Duart still working that outside off of turn number two with Saratelli on the inside as they hit turn number three. Off the corner they come, and Duart gets the advantage. But at the stripe, it is, oh, it is Duart by five thousandths of a second. That battle continues down the back stretch out front. Rick Martin starting to stretch out that lead again. 22 laps on the board as he goes down into one and two. 13 laps away from possibly a three-peat here in the sport trucks. We shall see Rick Martin into three and four, continuing to lead the way. Off the corner he comes, nice and smooth, and down to the stripe into turn number one. And Bulger has absolutely nowhere to go between Saratelli and Duart. Down into turn number three, Duart ever so slightly edging out, but he just can't get the run. He needs to close the door. They continue to battle, and as they continue to battle for third place, Tim Bolger right to the rear bumper of the 45 truck. He's looking for position. It'll be 10 laps to go here at the stripe as Rick Martin comes across. 10 more circuits to go, and Saratelli continues to keep the 50 of Duart at bay. They roll down the back straightaway. Bulger nowhere to go on the inside. He's got to settle back after a three wide look off of turn two. Nine more circuits around. Rick Martin continuing to pace the field down into one and two and down the back stretch. Rick Martin, he is your leader. Cavalero runs second. Saratelli third. Caution on the speedway. Trouble down to turn number one. One car around. That is the 78 of DJ Tebow, I believe. No, it is not. It is the 57 of Marissa Morgan who goes around there. So, working. Saratelli now trying to sneak a peek down to the inside of Cavallaro into turn three. Rick Martin continues up front in three and four. Across the stripe, Rick Martin, your leader, and here comes a battle for second place. Down into one and two, Saratelli, you're gonna 
Going to be battling with Cavalero there down the back stretch. Here comes Duart into that picture as well. Mike gets away for a second. Chuck Sador and Saratelli as they come off a of four. Bolger now trying to make it three wide down the front stretch. Saratelli shuts the door down. It's a turn number one. And, and while they continue to battle side by side, once again, Rick Martin putting some breathing room between he and the rest of the field. Here he comes across the stripe. Rick Martin down into one and two. 29 laps on the board. Six laps to go. Six laps between Rick Martin becoming a three-peat winner here in the sport trucks. He is off of four and across the stripe. Five more circuits to go, and Duart is now settled into the third spot. And boy, could he use a caution right now and try to get a run on the inside of Cavalero. Doesn't look anything like that, though, right now as they roll down into three and four. And Radical Rick sets the pace, continuing to dominate this one. Saratelli caught on the outside as Bulger now gets a run in down on the inside off at two. They are fanning out middle of the pack here. Up front, Rick Martin continues to have a rear view mirror of Mike Cavallero, but that distance between them continues to grow. Rick Martin, your leader, three laps to go down the backstretch. Twin sticks high in the air off as your leader comes off of turn number four. Rick Martin rolls the corner smooth and puts the Almeida Racing Machine through its paces down the back straightaway one more time. It'll be white flag this time around. Rick Martin, the 50-year racing veteran looking for a championship. White flag in the air one more time around. One more time through turns one and two. Radical Rick Martin leads the charge. Trouble here in the front straightaway. The leaders come off of turn number four. Checkered flags are in the air. Rick Martin picks up the win and the 2024 Jazz's Auto Body Sport Truck Championship, his third in a row, fourth overall in the sport trucks, and his eighth title as a driver. It's going to be lobster rolls and ice cream this week for Rick, Patty, and the nieces and nephews. We celebrated his induction onto the Seekonk Speedway Wall of Fame tonight. He picks up his eighth career championship in the Silver Motorsports. Number 14. The old guy still can get it done. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Your 2024 Chaz's Auto Body Sport Truck Champion, Radical Rick Martin. Yeah, getting him down is going to be the trick. Hey, if Billy Clark can do it, so can you, Rick. Rick, what a night. My mouth's so dry, I don't know if I can talk. My throat's stuck together, but, man, what a night. This end of storybook career, the way to end it, if you're going to end it. I mean, Wall of Fame, Hall of Fame, championship. Couldn't be any more proud of my fans, my friends, my Car owners, all my sponsors, it's all for you guys. You're not hinting at retirement, are you? Well, the pro stock uh, kind of in retirement, unless somebody's got a real fast Ford out there for me. <laughs> what about this sport truck? Three championships in a row, fourth overall in the trucks. You, the way you're going, I see a fifth one in your future. Yeah, I mean, I hope so, but uh, I mean, this truck all year long, old tires on it, they just, this is a division that, I mean, uh, you can't beat. Tires you put on two sets all year long, just put water and gas in this thing and run it. I mean, you can't beat it. Tell me what it means to you to win the championship tonight. Well, to me, just an, it's another championship to me, but everybody behind me, I did it for them. Uh, there was a lot of pressure on my shoulders. Everybody, oh, get it done, get it done. I mean, everybody over here, they all deserve this with me one way or another. I wouldn't be here without them. You came out in time trial set fast time. You were strong in the heat and untouchable in the feature. 
Yeah, we got a set of tires on. Uh, last week we got a little scuffled up and it's got big rips on the right side and we put new ones on in the warm-ups and it was just completely junk. And I said, put the old ones on. They're fast if they blow. It's up to him upstairs to keep an eye on us. But I got my, uh, I got my rosaries in my pocket and thank you, Ma. Let's take a minute and thank all the people behind you. Yeah, I got to thank uh, Northeast Alternatives. Uh, uh, um, let me look at the thing here because I forget everybody. MBS... Metro Supply, Brightman Lumber, of course, and my girlfriend and the brothers. Uh, they're the ones that, crazy fans that are backing me every week. Fit, service merchandise, uh, service merchandise, service partners, of course, Sylvia Motorsports, Ed and Marsha. I mean, it's their truck, New England Long Green. Uh, can't forget Hillside on the back. You get old, you get forgetful. You guys will find out. Yep, Hillside Lawn and Farm. I mean, Cat Country, Miles on Motorsports, all you guys that help Flagman Graphics. I mean, you can't do this alone. These days, there's a lot of work involved in these things. It uh, takes a crew. Well, congratulations. Welcome back to the championship table. How about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, from the Wall of Fame to the championship.